Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be explaining why I ordered the Endgame Gear OP1 WE. Now you might be already saying, didn't you order two other mice this month alone? And yes, I did. But I returned my XTV2 already because it had a very mushy right mouse button and yeah. And I explained that more and I returned my XTV2 videos. If you want to check that out, you can. But I also very recently, and in fact today, cancelled my order for the Lethal Gaming Gear LA1. I know, I said that very dramatically, but, you know, I just cancelled it. And the reason why is mainly because of the wait time. I'm pretty impatient, especially in the days of, like, Amazon, where things can get delivered in, like, two days. I don't want to wait, like, an indeterminable amount of time, because Lethal Gaming Gear still hasn't given, like, even, like, an estimate on when they'll ship, like, the LA1 out. So I don't know how long it'll take. It could take, like, a month or like three months plus or whatever, but I don't want to wait a very long time for a mouse. That's just not what I want to do. And I'm sorry for my dog barking. But another reason is I saw in House Gaming's video, which was a pretty good reviewer, on his pre-release unit. Yes, it is pre-release. It's not a final unit that's being sent out to people. But still, on pre on the pre-release unit, it was pretty bad in terms of QC. It had a squeaky right mouse button. And overall, it was pretty creaky on the side. So yeah, uh, not also great just adding on to that wait time. And another thing was that I actually kind of want opticals on my mouse now. I'm fine with opticals. I am picky with like click feeling i will admit however i will say this as long as they just aren't mushy like extremely mushy and you know they don't have a ton of pre and post travel i'm fine with them and they feel tactile enough i can deal with them i mean i really like the opticals on the death out of version 3 they're great they're not as good as mechanicals but they still are very very good and i will and i will retract my statement i made about opticals in another video where i said like no opticals feel as good as mechanicals. We're not there yet. Uh, I was pretty ignorant when I said that and like pretty like self-absorbed about like my site only own and like stuff like that. It could very well be that like the Sora 4K is just as good in terms of click feeling as like a mechanical switch because those use really good opticals. I've heard like people love those opticals. I don't have the Sora 4K. I have the original Sora, this red one. But the reason why I didn't get the Sora 4K is because I'm pretty used to the Sora shape, so I want a different shape. Uh, and another is the center issues. I have had a ton of center issues with the original Sora, and I still have it on this new one that I got like two months back, and they said that they fixed the issues, and they aren't fixed on my copy. I've said this a million times already, and I ranted about it, but it's really just because they said that they fixed it, and on my copy at least, it's not really fixed. It still happens. It's way rarer than my original copy but it still happens and that makes it basically unusable especially for fps games where you really need to hone in your aiming but another reason why i got the op1we is for one because again the opticals and if you're wondering why i got the optical want mouse with like uh, why i want like a mouse with opticals now it's mainly because of geometry dash or just other games in general where i don't want like an inconvenient like double click uh, and especially for like Geometry Dash, where I don't want just to double click because that will completely ruin my gameplay in Geometry Dash, especially when 2.2 is coming out very, very soon. I don't want to get a mouse that just can't play Geometry Dash at all, basically. And yeah, and I know I can like increase debounce time, but that'll just decrease uh, like that'll just increase the response time and just like it'll take longer for the information. I, I don't want that shit. I just want a good feeling optical and that's all I want. But another reason is just because I really like Endgame gear. I've had this XM1R for a very long time, and it's very, very good. I've had this for like two years now, and it's still going strong. It still has a little bit of side-to-side -side play, which I'm not a big fan of. But rather than that, it, it's really, really good. And if you're wondering why I didn't get the wireless version of this, it's a little bit too wide for me. In terms of shape, I love this shape, however... If I want to do like a more aggressive claw style, as you can see, <laughs> the scroll wheel is way too high. If the scroll wheel was like down here, like a more centered, like overall position, and it wasn't so high up, I would just get the XM2WE in a heartbeat. But I actually got the OP1WE instead because it is a little bit smaller. And so it'd be easier for me to reach the scroll wheel. And it also is, I think, a flatter shape. I'll, 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 
I'll look into it some more, but I think it is a little bit flatter in terms of like the size and there's not as much curvature, which is what I like because for example, on like my Death Adder version three, it is a pretty big mouse. However, if these sides were flat, I would probably still be manning it, but it is just a little bit uncomfortable for me because just the sides are curved in. So that causes my thumb to be heightened and just with that, you know, that side just protruding out more, it's just a little bit uncomfortable and I don't really like that feeling. So yeah, that's mainly the reasons why I'm getting the OP1WE. It's coming in about two days, so I'll get my first impressions on it. And I've heard the opticals feel very, very good on it. Uh, they, although they are heavy, which I'm fine with, if I want to be honest. I mean, I'll be the judge uh, if, if, as if I'm fine. If, yeah, I'll be the judge as to if they're like fine or not when I obviously receive it. But, you know, for right now, just basing it off of what people said, it probably won't be that big of a deal to me. But, yeah, that's basically it. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.